Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian on uh, August 31st, 2022. And in this really quick video, uh, this is actually a series that we're doing in our private community. Uh, this is really only available for those in our course community. But if you're interested in building a marketplace uh, of Gumroad products using a very cool tool called Framer, uh, I'm going to show you exactly what we're doing to embed uh, Gumbo products in a really beautiful landing page that is a compilation or a combination of both our own products as well as uh, affiliate products or partner uh, products that we're going to be uh, also recommending and referring uh, by dint of this same landing page. You can see here this is what it looks like. And I'm going to build this out in uh, real time. This is actually a template that uh, it actually inspired me to want to, to wanna use Framer. I never used Framer before. I just started playing around with it about a week ago. And this particular template allows you to really quickly and easily just embed these Gumro products. Something like this, for an example, is not mine. So this could be an example of an affiliate product that you can actually promote. So I would reach out to the owner of this particular store and just take uh, you know, this, let's say, font product and promote it as an affiliate to our audience. Something like this one here is mine, right? Or is ours anyway. Uh, and it's something that, you know, we can also promote uh, to our community of therapists and teachers and uh, psychologists, etc. cetera. Uh, you know, there are just various products here. Again, this is not mine, but it is an example of an affiliate product. This here is mine, you get the point. Uh, actually, this doesn't even link, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that as part of the tutorial. Anyway, so essentially the key here is you are gonna use the framer backend. Very, very easy. You edit the content here, and then you can simply add as many of the, you can, first of all, you can reorder these as you see fit. So you can just redesign by simply dropping and dragging the elements or the items uh, as you want. You add the items this way. So for an example, I would say choose an image. You can use an unsplash image. Let's say I want something that's trippy. This is really a beautiful way of creating a storefront in a completely no code fashion that has a marketplace not showing up. Let's try that. Not, maybe we'll see in a second if it does. There it is. All right, so I'm going to go into Gumroad. I'm just going to pick one of our products. Let's say the Zenometer. That's the link. Let's see, this is the not so efficient way of doing this, but I'm just gonna take the URL from my browser bar. I'm gonna go back into Framer. I'm gonna add the URL here. I'm gonna say it's free. And I'm gonna save it. And then I'm going to go back. I'm gonna publish, I'm gonna update the store. I'm going to open the link and there you have it. So now that product has been added. It pops right up. So folks don't have to leave the marketplace in this case to make the purchase. As you can see there, it pops right up and I can purchase this for no dollars and no cents. And again, the salient piece of this process that I want you to actually uh, remember is that this doesn't have to be just your own content. This could be content from any Gumroad store, any other uh, embeddable uh, product that you can 
go out and find folks who are selling something that you want to recommend as an affiliate or refer as an affiliate. Uh, Lemon Squeezy is another a similar to Gumroad uh, digital storefront that uh, I've you know incorporated into these sorts of landing pages. And I'm going to show you an example of that on Course Community. 